Pacific Avenue, Santa Cruz, California. Little over half mile stretch of retail district with interesting eateries, public art installations, and of course, street artists. Alexander Henry Skelton, a visual artist who believes art should be free. He gladly gives his artworks away to anybody that wants them. Of course, donations are greatly appreciated. Alexander, clearly an outsider artist, renders pen and ink drawings with style ranging from Fauvism to Surrealistic Expressionism with a powerful slant towards raw art and the art brute. This was 3 minutes and 22 seconds of Alexander Henry Skelton. I worked for 10 years in the restaurants and was uh, playing in rock and roll band and trying to make that happen in the city and giving all my money to my landlord. And, uh, you know, just did that for too long, you know, and, and realized that probably wasn't going to make a living in the music industry no matter how cast my band was for the whale check it out. That's been the deal. I mean, I'm on the road. My expenses are pretty, you know, teared down. Don't have a big cable bill or anything like that to pay. But uh, it's sweet, man. I mean, I, I ain't never going back. I'm is real it? happy. Santa it's... Cruz is a nice place, but I've kind of been stopping on the major, you know, hot spots up and down the West Coast. So, Jack Kerouac. Doing um, the Jack Kerouac thing, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So uh, the I art think is. A lot of people are doing that right now. I mean. Yeah, like you said, why not the nine to five? It's like, well, good grief, why the nine to five? I mean, that's no, I don't, you know, I think there's very few people who are really stoked on that. And it's more and more every day we keep shipping off all the kind of real jobs, you know, to other places. And all people are left with is like, you know, working for Kaiser Permanente in some like non job job, just, you know. Yeah, it's just where it's kind of, it sucks. But fortunately, we're still, uh, one probably coolest thing we have going for us in this country is the freedom to do kind of whatever the hell we want as long as it doesn't like violate somebody else's space or you know person or that kind of thing you know so i.e. me being out here on the corner i'm happy for that like i say you know we got how is your art being received by people walking by very well very well this has been i actually now that my sign's not on cardboard anymore and i stepped it up a little bit it's uh i think that's put me into a new category i've had a lot more people just in the last couple of days stopping and Here's some now, hello. Yeah, that's the indefinite plan. Maybe Europe, maybe, you know. I'll build my own rocket ship when I, you know, my free time. You know, cool. It's cool, man. We, you know, yeah, it's not, it doesn't happen inside there. It, it, this is, you know, this is where you have the freedom to do this, you know, and it is what it is. It's not it taught in school, it's not anything. It's just like going with it, be it, you know, musicians that are out here tearing it up or whatever. It's, you know, so it you're, comes from inside. It doesn't come from out there, you know. So you're a self-taught artist. I mean, you know, I live in the world, so, and this is all, you know, images of, you know, animals appear or this or that, you know, so of course. But no formal it's a, it's training. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feedback, it's a constant loop, you know, of just like experience and, you know, reflection on that experience. Absolutely. <laughs> Different. Sometimes I start coming out. Oh, this is for the cameraman. Oh. <laughs> nice, nice oh, can I Dave. take your picture too? Nice actually? shot, Dave. <laughs> Alexander Henry Skelton, outsider street artist. You won't see his paintings in the Museum of Modern Art just yet, but who knows? There are 250,000 stories in the Naked City. This was one of them.